News 12's Kay Blevins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Brought to you by Zaxby's. Welcome back to News 12 Now at 530. In some of your community news today, we are getting the chance to sit down with our friends from the Chattanooga Zoo. They're going to tell us all about some events they have coming up recently, and they brought a friend with us. And joining us now is a serval cat, Kiambe. We also have Alyssa McLong and Eric Jackson. How are you guys? Doing well. How are you, Kate? Doing well. Thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. First of all, let's talk about our friend, Kiambe, that we have right here. She is an ambassador animal for the zoo. Tell us a little bit about her, Alyssa. So Kiambe is seven years old. Um, with being an ambassador, she does kind of live behind the scenes, so you guys don't ever really get to see her unless uh, she comes out for nice little events like this. Um, she is an African cat. Fun fact about servals, they are the world's most precise hunters. So they can jump about 12 feet in the air, um, and with that, it kind of gives them the ability to pounce really easily on on some prey items. Tell um, us a little bit about her diet and exactly where she's from. She does eat some ground beef as well as some rats. So that is that is her typical day-to-day -day diet. And she is such a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> serval. Now, Eric, tell us a little bit about some of the things that you all have coming up at the Chattanooga Zoo. You have Boo in the Zoo and you also have a Lantern Festival that's yes, coming up. Yes, we have two incredible events coming up uh, this uh, season, this holiday season. Boo in the Zoo is absolutely, absolutely one of my favorite events here at the Chattanooga Zoo and it's coming back. We're actually adding a third weekend to it. So it's going to be October 14th, 15th, October 21st, 22nd, and October 28th and 29th. And we're going to have a lot of really cool uh, characters there and uh, maybe some puppets uh, and a lot of awesome activities for young and old members. Absolutely. So. I have been there so many times with my kiddos and they absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. You all have candy, you have so many activities for them, plus they get to see the zoo animals mm -hmm. up close and personal. And who doesn't want to see that? That's right. Everybody does. Tell us a little bit about this Lantern Festival yes. as well. So this is our first uh, type of event that we're doing here at the Chattanooga Zoo, hopefully one of many. Uh, as we go, look towards the future. Uh, we are officially calling it Asian Lantern Festival by the Chattanooga Zoo. Uh, and it's really a focus on uh, Asian culture and, and the celebration of Asian cultures. We're gonna have uh, many different vendors and, and people there just to really uh, help people feel the, the, that celebration of, of Asian culture artisans, performers, uh, a lot of talent there. So we're very, very excited to show people uh, what's going to be there in the future. So many great events that folks can check out at the Chattanooga Zoo. Tell us folks at home how they can get tickets, how they want to be part of this event if they want to, mm -hmm. how they can get tickets and go check it out. Sure. So events for Boo and the Zoo are about to launch. So just be on the lookout for that on our website, www.chatzoo.org. And also the Asian Lantern Festival is going to be launching October, actually no, September 15th uh, on our website, so you can check it out there. You can go check it out. Alyssa, what's the, your favorite thing about working at the Chattanooga Zoo? Um, probably this exactly. So training animals is the best part of the job. It's really neat to be able to go yes. there and see what you do each and every day yeah. in training the animals, and they're so beautiful. Thank you so much for being here, guys, mm -hmm. and telling us all about these events and also bringing Kiambe here so we could see her up close and personal. Such an amazing, amazing cat. Yes. If you would like some more information about this interview or you would like to go check out the zoo, we've got all this information on our website at WDEF.com.